Welcome to Sweden. I am Thomas, a land of contrasts and unparalleled beauty. On this channel, we'll explore together the charms of this Nordic country, from its vibrant cities to its breathtaking natural landscapes. Get ready to immerse yourself in rich culture, fascinating history, and unique experiences that Sweden has to offer. Subscribe for an unforgettable journey through the land of lakes and northern lights. Let's discover Sweden together. Hey, I'm Andy. Heard about your trip to Switzerland and thought, why not join? Let's make this journey awesome together. Ready for the adventure? Come on! Sweden! Located in Northern Europe, Sweden borders the Baltic Sea and the Gulf of Bothnia to the east, giving the country a long coastline that forms the eastern part of the Scandinavian Peninsula. To the west are the Scandinavian mountains, Skaderna, which form a natural border with Norway. To the northeast, it borders Finland, to the southwest with the Straits of Skagerrak, Kattegat, and Orsund, separating it from Denmark, Germany, Poland, Russia, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. Additionally, it is connected to Denmark by the Orsund Bridge. The official language of Sweden is Swedish. The distribution of different religious denominations in Sweden is approximately as follows, Lutherans, 85%, and Catholics, 5%. The currency of Sweden is the krona. Sweden has three types of climates, oceanic climate, predominant in the southern part of the country, boreal climate in the north, and humid continental climate in the central part of the country. Incredible Thomas! Because now we don't go to the current events to know more about Switzerland. Come on! Sweden today! The government of Sweden is a constitutional monarchy based on parliamentary democracy. Government affairs in Sweden are directed by a cabinet of ministers, led by the Prime Minister. The cabinet and the Prime Minister are accountable to the Riksdag, which is the parliament. Wood, hydroelectric power, and iron form the basis of a manufacturing economy that relies heavily on foreign trade. Exports, including engines, machinery, motor vehicles, and telecommunications equipment, account for over 44% of the GDP. Sweden consistently performs well in employment, education, health, environmental quality, social relationships, civic engagement, security, and life satisfaction. Sweden has a rich and varied culture, as, in the mid-20th century, the territory welcomed immigrants and refugees who brought their own cultures and traditions, enriching the Swedish cultural scene. Similarly, American popular culture has had a significant impact. The recent resurgence of Swedish creativity and creation has garnered much attention, especially in literature, design, popular music, photography, fashion, gastronomy, and textiles. In terms of gastronomy, Sweden is highly regarded for its high-quality natural ingredients and the mixed and multicultural cuisine that reinvents the country's own. Dishes Daily the smorgasbord, the most famous element in Swedish cuisine, is a buffet featuring a variety of cold cuts, eggs, vegetables, cereals, buffet, cheeses, and other foods, gaining fame for its great peculiarity. The education system is, with some exceptions, free and open to everyone. Primary and secondary education is the responsibility of municipalities, and universities are state-managed. On the other hand, the healthcare system is quite efficient and, in most cases, free. Sweden offers many incredible sites and enjoyable activities for tourists. Some of the most visited places include are a small village in central Sweden with three ski areas, Gotland, the largest island in Sweden, and the Baltic Sea. Fabulous! Sweden is incredible! Now let's go to the curiosities of Sweden! Come on! Curiosities about Sweden 1. The flag. The flag of Sweden has blue for the cloth and yellow or gold for the cross. It follows the model of the Danish flag but with the colors of the Swedish sovereign's coat of arms. Blue represents justice, loyalty, and truth, while yellow or gold represents generosity. 2. A powerful bridge. The Orsund Bridge, 7.8 kilometers long, is the longest combined road and rail bridge in Europe. 
It connects the Orsund region in Denmark to the city of Malmö in Sweden. 3. Country of many lakes. One of Sweden's curiosities is that 9% of its territory consists of lakes larger than 100 square meters. There are more than 95,000 lakes. 4. Pioneers in automotive safety. Another interesting fact about Sweden is that the three-point seatbelt used in cars was invented in Sweden, and Volvo was the first company to install them in their vehicles in 1959. 5. Long periods without light. Sweden's location, close to the Arctic Circle, results in long and very dark winters. 6. Depression of darkness, the lack of natural light during long months of the year influences the generation of depression in one out of every five. Inhabitants of Sweden. 7. A powerful passport, among Sweden's curiosities, it has a highly recognized passport, considered the third best in the world, preceded only by Germany and Singapore. 8. Married or poisoned, one of the funniest curiosities about Sweden is that the Swedish word gift means both married and poison or toxic. It's open to interpretation. 9. North Korea owes Sweden a lot of money, not widely known, but North Korea owes Sweden a considerable amount of money, around 300 million euros. This debt stems from the appropriation of a thousand Volvo 144 gallons cars in 1974. At that time, lacking currency, the North Koreans promised to pay for the cars with copper and zinc, but these minerals never reached Sweden. 10. Speed Camera Lottery In Stockholm, there was a speed camera lottery, where all the money collected from fines for drivers exceeding speed limits was used for a lottery among citizens who followed the law. This was all about the curiosities of Sweden. What do you think? Now let's go back in time and go to story. History Sweden has a rich history dating back to the Ice Age when the first inhabitants settled in the region. During the Middle Ages, Sweden experienced a period of territorial expansion and formed the Kalmar Union with Denmark and Norway. However, in the early 16th century, Gustav Vesa led a successful rebellion against the Union and established the House of Vesa as the monarchs of Sweden. In the centuries that followed, Sweden became a major European power during the Thirty Years' War under the reign of Gustavus Adolphus II. However, in the 18th century, the Swedish Empire weakened and lost territories. The 19th century saw Sweden transform into an industrialized and neutral nation, avoiding world conflicts. In the 20th century, Sweden stood out for its social welfare model and neutrality during the world wars. In recent times, Sweden has been known for its innovation, quality of life, and contributions to global culture. Although not a member of NATO, it has participated in international peacekeeping missions. Sweden's history reflects an evolution from its Viking roots to its current position as a modern and prosperous society. Thank you for joining us on the way to Sweden. Why don't we go now to a series of questions? Come on! Thanks for joining us on this journey. I hope you've enjoyed the blend of history and charm. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and, of course, subscribe for more adventures. 
see you at the next destination. Bye for now.